Charles to tournament. Not number one. <coughs> All these matches will be CPU versus CPU. Old Warriors 1995. No, 1997 suggested. Kenny Omega. And the legend, Big Van Vader. I am your host. <coughs> Hope I have got Vader. Where are you? Where are you, bastard? I'm sure I've got Vader somewhere. We have got Vader. <coughs> One of my favourite wrestlers that is no longer here in. We're living. I've just got to log into my Twitch. This will be a multiple day tournament. <coughs> HWA is a custom brand of mine. All streams and chats are interactive, so please participate if you can. If you can't, that is fine. I just got to get my hands here. <coughs> HWA is short for Hammers Wrestling Alliance. <coughs> I am rather congested, unfortunately, people, so many apologies. <coughs> Mm. All streams and chats are interactive, so please participate if you can. If you can't, that is fine. All streams are exclusive to Twitch for one day. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> this is a 16 man tournament. Had I bought Warrior in 1987? <coughs> you have Steve Carino. All streams are exclusive to Twitch for one day, then they'll be on my YouTube at youtube.com. Hammers Reviews. New and old wrestlers. <coughs> mm, I don't get people sometimes. Bianca Bella and Sasha Banks is a great match, but the problem with people, every time you have to bring someone's fucking colour into things, and I was like, no, sorry. It shouldn't be that way. Right, I've got Kenji Mika, the great Mika. Yeah, that one was better. <coughs> I will, once all the champions are crowned, I will be doing monthly tournaments.
Can train her for more. Mm, it's not that you shouldn't just give people things willy nilly, so. If you'd like to support me on the channel, my Patreon is patreon.com. Hammers Reviews. If you don't have a Patreon, I have a donation button on my Twitch page. My Facebook fan pages are. I think you're having to me with repeat matches. from the US Grand Dome and the referee is HWA senior official ref Tony Jones. <coughs> um the master of the suplexes. My Facebook fan page is on Facebook, Blue Boy nineteen eighty five streams, Facebook Cameras Reviews, Facebook Cameras Reviews stream and Facebook Cameras Reviews streams. <coughs> we have some rules about my Instagram and Twitter. No cam got positive. People trying to check me up. Shammer scammers. I don't want any of that shit because I'm happily engaged, so please stop it. You have been told multiple times, but it doesn't seem to digest into your thick little fucking heads. It really does piss me off. If you would like to offer me services like custom emojis, overlays, for my Twitch to make it more professional, that's fine. Networking, collaboration, and anything in between. My Instagram is Instagram at HammersReviews1, and my Twitter, sorry, my Twitters are Twitter at Blueboy85, and my new Twitter is Twitter at Blueboy1985. Without further ado, let's get started. Mm, I don't blame you, Board Warrior. Every hour that I play, <coughs> I will take a few minutes break. Made in Volma. Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. There's quite a lot of wrestlers from Winnipeg, Manitoba. Chris Jericho, Don Callis, back on the show of Savoy, the best belt machine, Kenny Omega. Since joining AEW, he's not been that. <coughs> My injuries and softwares are <coughs> Pepsi and... I've got to think what this is. I think... And here in form, the Rocky Mountains. The man, the myth, the legend, Big Fan Vader, very agile for a heavyweight. Okay, let's go. <coughs> nice reverse ice whip from Big Fan Vader. All matches have a Nope, I am not, no, because it's not the time and it's not the place. Nice photo whip from Big Van Vader. Nice kick to the midsection from Vader. Nice body slam to the outside. Nope, there's no need. Nice camel clutch from the best back machine, Kenny Omega. Yeah, just to apply pressure 
to the back, it's the lowest one as well. So who's winning people, Vader or Kenny Omega? Nice shoulder bars from Vader, nice ice whip from Kenny Omega. Kicking that piss out of Vader, Vader unfortunately is no longer with us. He passed away a few years ago. <coughs> Nice elbow to the top of the head. Hello, Miranda1935. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well. This match was legit. Nice elbow to the back, followed by a nicely executed camel clutch. Apply pressure to the lower back. No punch exchanges. One by Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega. First up to his feet. I have allergies, unfortunately. No photo is whipped. To the buckle from Big Van Vader. No superplex. Nice elbow whip from Vader, followed by the Samoan drop. Nice elbow drop from the man from the Rocky Mountains. Which I believe in Colorado. If I'm wrong, please let me know. Kenny Weber reverses the vertical suplex. Nice elbow to the lumbar, which is a smaller portion of the back and spine. Vader reverses the vertical suplex into a vertical suplex of his own. This match was selected by Bull Boy in 1987. Nice step over toe hold, or STF for sure. <coughs> nice high angle body slam from Kenny Omega. Nice gorilla press slam from Vader. Goes for another STF in this matchup. Nice elbow strike from Kenny Omega. Vader with the power bomb. Vader with a sit down. One, two, only enough for a two cam. Something's got to give in this match. It really does. Nice over whip to the ropes. Buckle, sorry. Nice Vader bomb. Vader with a sit down. One, two, only enough for a two and seven eighths or two and a half for you smart asses out there. Nice elbow to the head. <coughs> nice camel clutch from Vader. Nice eye rake from the back back machine. Nice basement drop kick. Nice step up into Geary from Kenny Omega. Nice snap DDT from Kenny Omega onto Big Van Vader. He was, a, I think, he was the first wrestler, big wrestler that I saw that did a moonsault. Another STF. Are we going to get a submission victory? And Kenny Omega taps out. If, if he wants to be beaten up, I, I know people that would easily beat him up. <coughs> Your winner with a metric of 67%, winner in 9 minutes and 11 seconds with the SDF, the Mastodon Big Fan Fader. <coughs> we have four people live with us this evening. The next match. It's one cage kind of thing. Mick orders. Oh, woo, hard man. Hayden from California. 
the machine, Brian Cage. <coughs> yeah, sure we will. Because he's a scumbag, and I hope someone punches his fucking light bulbs out. And from Kingsland, England, by way of Nashville, Tennessee, in the of the current NWA champion, the national treasure, Nick Ordis. Mm, if it if it becomes mandatory, then oh, oh he bloody will. But Tony James is a HWA senior official because I held up all the championships and started fresh. No triangle body slam from Brian Cage. No elbow strike from Nick Ordis. No statistician followed by the elbow strike. A nice elbow from Brian Cage. But I ripped to the ropes. <coughs> nice body slam from Nick Aldis. The ropes are very thin. It's electrical cable in electrical tape. That's all. It's not that he's fucking selfish. He really is. <coughs> Nice hard on trip to the back of the farm, Nick Ordis. If this is a pole driver, the pole driver has done, a, has done a lot of damage. Nice sleep off, what they believe in Nelson is if you applied it too hard, you cut the carotid artery. If that is correct, that would happen. If you applied it too hard, you could kill some nice high angle body slam. It's not that. The problem is with you, I'm going to be honest, Bull Warrior. You let everyone walk the fuck over you, which is correct. Nice butterfly overhead suplex. It's not that, you're letting them win all the time, Bull Warrior. <coughs> mm, you let people walk all over you, mate. Nice figure four leg lock from Nick Ordis, the former Magnus. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, complete toss, monkey. Nice elbow from Nick Ordis. Nice clubbing blow exchange. From the lot, Brian Cage, he likes to get his shit in. Nice Japanese arm drag from the machine, Brian Cage. Nice hold on his whip to the battle. Nice Larry O'Toole. From Nick Ordis. Nick Ordis goes to the top rope. Goes for the body splash, but no one was in the water. Nice clubbing blows from Nick Ordis. Welcome anyone that has just joined. Hope you're doing well. Nice Japanese on grab from Brian Cage. Nice leg trip. Followed by the Kingsling Cloverleaf, which is a variation of the Texas Cloverleaf. Nice sit down, Michinoku driver. One, two. Nice delay, vertical suplex. The blood is rushing to Nick Ordis's head as we speak, who is married to Mickey James. Nice photo group to Marco Barber. Nice elbow. Gorilla Press Slam. <coughs> no, nice. Lion's Hope from Brian Cage. Nice Camel Clutch from The Machine. Ah, oh, bless me. Nice hold on grip to the web. Followed by a high knee. Followed by the King's Inn Cloverleaf. I have actually been to this place. It is actually a real place. A lot of people are bull boys. <coughs> Who's winning this match, people? Nick Ordis or Brian Cage? Goes for the Kingsland Cloverleaf for the third time in this match. Mm. 
nice butterfly overhead. <coughs> Nicholas with the reversal. Nice kneeling from Nick Audius. Both play a King's in Cloverleaf. I have actually been to King's in it's near Norfolk, I believe. Nice fall away slam. Yep, that is what. Nice stand in Moonsault, too. Only enough for a two count. Something's got to give in this match, it really has. Nice Jack Dodd power bomb followed by the King's in Cloverleaf from Nick Orders. There seems to be a lot of submissions in this. This is what 2K should be, very back and forth. But no, it's a fucking dickhead, it's a visual concept. So. Nice jump in knee from Nick Orders. Nice Macho Man Ranch Savage elbow from Nick Orders. Goes for the pin. One, two, only enough for two and seven eights. Nice set down Michinoku driver from Nick Orders. Nice body splash, but was a bit too close to the ropes on that occasion. Yeah, exactly. We'll probably only be able to go once a month. Nice running, jumping knee from Nick Orders. <coughs> nice leg grip from Nick Orders. I don't mind people lurking on the stream, I really don't. Nice free throw from Brian Cage, kicking away at the midsection. Yeah, Nick Orders was a nice little drop kick wrestling by DKW guy with his A promotion. One, two, only enough for two and seven eggs. If Nick Orders does not win this match, then I'm going to be very surprised. Nice hard eye grip to the rope, followed by a big boot. Yep, I knew what you meant, Bold Warrior. <coughs> so, nice delay vertical suplex. The ru blood rushing through the head. They spilled out to the outside. Nice. <coughs> One drag. NWA Power has come back and it's on Fight TV. Brian Cage flexing like the bloody idiot he has. Nice cyber clamp backbreaker from the machine. Brian Cage. Nice delay, vertical shoot back. <coughs> People at work, get my numbers up so I don't mind in the slightest. Weapon X from Brian Cage, a Gory Guerrero special. Goes for the pin. One, two, only enough for a two count on that exchange. Nice power bomb, followed by the King's Lynn Cloverleaf. And a tap out at 15 minutes and 55 seconds. So Vader, Nick Order should be a very interesting match. With a match rating of 95%, you're winning in 15 minutes and 55 seconds with the King's Lynn Global League, Nick Order. In the next round, he's got a very, in the quarterfinals, he'll have a very tough. The next match is EC3 and Steve Carino. Ailing Farm, Boca Raton, Florida. E C three, the one percenter. Remember, 
other people do. Use your redemption points. <laughs> Hayden from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. By way of South Carolina. The king of old school, Steve Carino. Three wants a godly match. Who's winning? EC3 or Steve Carino, people? Steve Carino's won the white trunks, and EC3 with the blue and white. Nice high angle body slam, followed by a nicely executed sleeper hold from EC3, who is company with Ring of Honor. <coughs> nice clubbing blow. Nice snap suplex made very famous by Tom Billington and the Dynamite Kid. Great wrestler, but not always a good human being. The Dynamite Kid's best matches were the best out of five series he had with OG Tiger Mask. Nice. Chop from Steve Carino, nice snap suplex from EC3. EC3 blocks a vertical suplex and dumps Steve Carino to the outside. Nice elbow drop to the lumbar, followed by a elbow, the elbow drop. Nice. Snap DDT from the King of Old School, Steve Carino. I've been a wrestling fan for 33 years and so I'm 3 years old, so I'm 36 now, so most people grew out of wrestling, but I never did. It's my escape from reality. Steve Carino, the wily veteran, choking the piss out of EC3. EC3 with the Irish Whip. <coughs> Nice STO from EC3. If he hits a 1%, which is like just how it's. No, it's not, it's a bulldog drop. Driver. That's what the 1% is. Goes for the pin. 1. Steve Green, you've got to do more than that to pick up the W in the HWA. Both miss each other. Nice snap suplex from EC3, followed by the double foot stomp. Nice nail in chin breaker, followed by a dive in elbow drop. I will be making some custom wrestling compilations. Nice twist in toe hold. That's nasty. N nice big four leg lock from Steve Carino. First come for Super King Nice swing in that breaker. Very reminiscent of Revson Rip Roots. This is a US Grand Ole. Nice um, T Bone Suplex from EC3. EC3 with the missile. Drop kick, followed by the cross face. Steve Carino punches his way out. Nice snap DDT from Steve Carino. Goes for the pin. One. Oh no, not for one. We oh, were one night today because I had some technical issues. Nice TKO style manoeuvre from. EC3 goes for the pin. Nice step, Larry Oto, bomb Steve Carino. If he hits the old school expansion, then it's game over for Mr. EC3. One, two, only enough for a two. Something's got to give in this match, it really does. EC3 blocks a vertical suplex and does a vertical suplex of his own onto Steve Carino. 
nice STO from ECB. One, two, only enough for two and seven tapes, or two and a half, which is one and the same. Nice sit down, Samoan driver. Steve Perino has been champion in most places he's got. He was NWA champion, 0 1 in Japan champion, I believe. ECW champion. Nice no, sit down, power bomb. 1, 2, 2, and 7, 8, 3, 4. A slow blow from Steve Green, there's no disqualifications in the HWA. Nice no, STO from EC3. How is everyone this Sunday or Monday if you're in Pesach, Australia, New Zealand, India, or Japan? Nice no, elbow to the lumbar. I'm a doctor, MMA practitioner, or wrestler, unfortunately. Nice since I've played a one, two, only enough for two and seven eggs. Nice overhead, T bone suplex from the one percenter. Nice cross body, I was a bit too close to the ropes, Mr. EC3. Nice overhead, T bone suplex. Nice drop toe hold from Steve Carino. Another STO from EC3. If he hits the Bulldog Driver, which is 1% on a swinging net breaker from Steve Carino. So, who's going to win? Nice STO. Um, possibly, I don't know. That, I know that will piss a lot of people off, but it will bring people in, if that is the case. Steve Carino throws EC3 to the outside. EC3 with the folded chair. This is Fire Pro Wrestling World, <coughs> if I didn't mention that before. <coughs> it's the first time it's actually came out to them everywhere worldwide. Nice one percenter from EC3. Steve Garino rolls it into a pin, but it's on the outside. <coughs> I wouldn't listen to speculation. Nice sit down power bomb, but with a little bit too close to the ropes. Or too close to the nice STO from EC3. EC3 goes to the top rope. Nice missile. No, because if Vince gave, gave a nice roll up pin, only enough for two and seven eggs. <coughs> Bollocks to him. It's not that. I don't. I think Big Show should just be a commentator. So. <coughs> nice side. Michinoku driver from the King of Old School. One, two, three. No, sorry. Old School. Expulsion, I think it's called. The LW2 version of 35. <coughs> this, I think, will be if, if I'm working things out. <coughs> How was that a normal like fucking bomb? I'm not going to argue. When I was a Mac racing of 100%. When in 16 minutes and 12 seconds for the normal night. Bomb, the king of old school, Steve Carino. I'm hopefully going to sell it three day <coughs> tournament. But good evening, TD Voodoo Six Six Six. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Hailing from Yonkers, New York, the innovator of violence, Tommy Dreamer. 
He broke his back for his kiddo. Blood, sweat, tears, you name it, he did it. He broke his fucking back for that company and he was on the team for 10 minutes. What the fuck, sorry. I think this is supposed to be the Omni in Atlanta, which isn't there anymore. Hidden from Colorado Springs, the Dominator, Bobby Lashley. We have six people live with us. That's the most we've had in for five boys for quite some time. First time them across a good clean fight, that is a caricature of myself, because I am the referee. Nice kick to the midsection. <laughs> oh, that's just hilarious. Yes, good boy, I do. Nice club and blow from Bobby Lashley. That's you all around when I had the 1935. Nice, um, Death End Driver, one Bobby Lashley. Nice Tesla strength, one by Bobby Lashley, followed by a club and blow to the back of Tommy Dreamer. Nice, high angle, belly to back suplex from Bobby Lashley, who was signed to Bellator. Nice arm drag from Tommy Dream on to Bobby Lashley who what well, well played to Bobby Lashley for if you have seen um Mania Night One, he retained against Drew Galloway or McIntyre, whatever the fuck his name is. Nice sleeper hold from the innovative violence Tommy Dream. These hardcore wrestlers can actually wrestle. <laughs> That episode's hilarious. Angry Kids, really fucking hilarious. Nice elbow from Bobby Lashley. Nice arm drag from Tommy Dreamer. Nice swing neck breaker to the working style from Bobby Lashley. One. If he hits the Dominator or the Spear, then it's game over, Mr. Dreamer. Thank you for coming. Nice. Green naked job with a nice body scissors. Now, quite a nice pressure, nice swing neck breaker. Mm, I don't know what you're talking about, Momentum 1935. Nice stiff Larry Otto from Bobby Lashley. Nice spear to the midsection of Tommy Dreamer. Nice. Green naked choke with a nice executed body scissors that applies pressure to the opponent. <laughs> nice inside cradle, one, two, no, only enough for one count, unfortunately. Nice clubbing blow. The HW Climate will be back. Nice overhead, belly to belly suplex, knocking Tommy Dreamer to the outside. Nice clubbing blow from Bobby Lashley. Nice stun gun from the Dominator Bobby Lashley. My hands are on bloody dumb, unfortunately. Yeah, exactly, Ball Warrior. Good on him for being a fucking champion. Proves he doesn't need the hurt business. Only enough for a one from Bobby Lashley. Nice running power slam made for him by the one, the only, the legendary British Bulldog, David Roy Smith, who unfortunately isn't with us. God bless you, sir, wherever you are, Bulldog, who was inducted into the Hall of Fame. One, two, we need Owen Hart's wife to fucking budge. She's got all that money for a wrongful lawsuit, death, and where's all that money? Oh, guess what? She's fucking spunked up the fucking wall. I think from next month, um, Doc Clone of the Ring Season 3, I think it's the 6th of May, nice Larry Otto from Bobby Lashley. So oh, yeah, we don't need any of that nice overhead belly to belly suplex from the Dominator or Destroyer Bobby Lashley. He was in TNA Slash Impact Wrestling and that's where... Mm, yeah, if he is politicking, then he doesn't deserve to be fucking jamming. One. Yeah, 
from Bobby Lashley, one of my favourite um, rap wrestlers is Ron Simmons, he actually was for Brooke, but the first African American wrestler to be the NWA World Champion next to Ron the Truth Jennings, a nice little lady of vertical suplex from Bobby Lashley, who I believe was um, Giggity. Yes, I do. It's not that nice transition into um, the Dragon Sleeve, but yes, I have got back. Um, I've got no dragons in my hands. I've pinned the needle, unfortunately. And my hands are bit, so if you see me doing this, means my hands are going silly. Second Dominator in this match from the Destroyer, Bobby Lashley. Yeah, he can be. Nice frog splash, he's one froggy. Okay, ladies and gents, who gave Eddie Guerrero the frog splash? Was it A, or Bar? Dean Malenko, or Shane Douglas? Nice rolling dominator from Bobby Lashley advancing to the quarter final stage, which will be the next round, which will probably be tomorrow. Oh. Yeah, Dom. Oh, 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 oh. Um. Two seconds. Yeah. That's better. <sighs> Winner. Canadian Backbreaker Slam, which is like a dominator. Winner with a match rating of 70%. Winner with 11 minutes and 41 seconds. Bobby Lexley. I don't know, there's tons of idiots in town, so I don't know what you're talking about. We have Rusev Grand Prince, Keiji Muta, Masato Tanaka, Shinsuke Nakamura, Jay Briscoe, Tai Chi, Tomohiro Ishii, and Michael Elgin still to go. Steve Carino, Lashley, Vader, and Nick Aldis for the quarterfinals. That should be fantastic. Hayden from Bulgaria, the Bulgarian brew, Rusev. No. So why build someone from Bulgaria? He's got a Bulgarian fucking tattoo of the map of Bulgaria, so he can't be fucking Russian, you fucking nerd! Headed in from Japan, the legendary Kiji Muta. He likes to spray the mist, but he wasn't the first wrestler. If you can tell me who actual user mist for the first time. I think it's a great Kabuki, I could be wrong. If anyone does know better than I do, the referee wants a good clean fight. <laughs> nice. Club and Blows do the mix section of their great motor from Rusev. Oh, here is a country I probably would visit. It's not that you have to respect family's wishes, and if they say no, you can't say, oh, we're going to do this, 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 and this. When someone says no, straight out no, you don't do it. If you go against people's wishes, then you basically, that makes you a cunt. This whole warrior episode's going to fucking bomb. Nice test of strength. Nice that was right from the brick motor. Nice snap man suplex from Mutazan. One of my favourite wrestlers, one of the oldest active wrestlers. He won the GXC Championship, which is a forest in Noah, recently. I think he's 62 years old. But 
Go subscribe to Bloody Care. Great moment was one of my favourite wrestlers. His match is with Sting. One. Only enough for a one with the Brazilian German Suplex. You do know why that is, because it will be a legal incident. If they do what WWE did, it's going to be an international and legal incident, so it's going to cost them a lot of money. That's why I don't know what it's about, so they, should, they shouldn't have done it. Full fucking stop, because they're complete wankers. Nice clap and both followed by Chop from Great Muscle Exchange, one by Rusev. If he applies the accolade, which is a camel clutch, Nice transition to the sleep hole for Rusev, who is Miro in AEW. Nice float over vertical suplex from Great Musa. Nice back kick from the Great Musa. If you bump into Doofus Bob, just say if you don't get vaccinated, the other people are going to whip your ass. Nice basement dropkick from the Brick Mooster who created um, the Shining Wizard. Nice single leg Boston grab from the Pearl of the Orient Brick Mooster. His mentor in WCW was the late great Gary Hart. Nice backbreaker from the Great Mooster. <coughs> nice basement drop kick from the Great Mooster, followed by a single leg Boston Crab. Now on the left leg, so nice kicks from the Great Mooster with his educated feet. Nice basement drop kick, followed by another Boston Crab on. That single leg Boston Crab on right leg close, so it's making the legs. Nice Brazilian German suplex. One, two, only enough for two and seven eggs. Great Booter with the Shining Wizard. Code for that pin. One, two, only enough for a two count. The Great Booter has won championships everywhere. Nice Brazilian German suplex, only enough for two and seven eights. Nice Irish whip to the ropes from Rusev. Nice club and blow from Rusev. Yeah, he's a toss, I'm like, fucking idiot. Rusev attacking the midsection of the brick booter. Okay, cool. Uh, before you start, I will give you the Games FAQ um, page that I found. Nice, um, nice, jump in, body press from Great Mooster from the outside. Okay, that's cool buddy. Wait, don't do anything until I've found what you need to do. Is it the, is, is it the third seal you've got to get? Yeah, exactly. Nice, high angle, suplex, one, only enough for one count. The Great Mooster doesn't win this. Nice fall away slam from the Bulgarian Brute. Goes for the uh, Shiny Wizard for the second time. One, two, three, and your winner advancing to the quarterfinals. The Great Mooter with his mist. Yeah, I love when the Jerry did that on ECW. It's a uh, water seal, isn't it? You need the fishing rod. You have to unlock. I've got to think what I did. Drop winner with a match rating of 73%. Winner in 10 minutes and 33 seconds. With the Shining Wizard. The legendary Kiji Muta. The Great Muta! Mm, you will be because you're back into like your routine. I'll be back in two seconds. Bobby, so Bobby, that's no, sorry, I'm gonna see what the matches are.
Kur lai neikt vienu, tad neikt vienu īsi. Vai ir tā nu, kas nepodies. Taip, ka viņi nav pavīlēs līdz tā 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 And then for Yokohama, Japan, the Dragon, Masato Tanaka, who actually had a massive feud with Mike Awesome. Thank you for stepping in, coming to the stream around 1935, much appreciated. And here then from Tokyo, Japan, the King of Strongstone, Shinsuke Nakamura. Who wants that good clean match? Nice knee from Shinsuke Nakamura. Nice knee to the midsection of my shot and not over the dagger who has a dagger bomb and the diamond dust, which is a swing bomb. And that's hard over it from Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke Nakamura has been the IWGP champion in real life. Masato Tanaka was ECW champion, I think he was FMW champion, and I know for a fact he was zero runs it, but nice axe kick from Masato Tanaka. Nice vertical suplex. You won't warm it up then, around to 1955, diggity diggity. Nice. Finally got body slam to the outside. He feuded with the gladiator, which was Mike Awesome. Rest in peace, wherever you are, buddy. I think it was cunt is what Joey Stars did. Nice. Boston grab from Masato Tanaka. Nice. Spin in, step up in Sagiri from the King of Strong Style. Nice clubbing blow. Since then, Nakamura was home for many years, was New Japan for us, and now it's WWE. Nice stunner. One. Nice Canadian backbreaker, followed by. The ankle bar, if he would have grapevine to the leg, it would have applied more pressure. Nice kick to the midsection, nice kick to the quadriceps, which is the back of the legs. Giggity, <laughs> you're naughty. Avalanche inverted DDD. Nice ankle bar submission. If he would have applied pressure or break on the leg. And then from the Dagon Bomb goes for the pin. One, two, and enough for a two count on that exchange. Stunner type move. Nice one. Mm, wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't you like to know? Mm -hmm. One, two, only enough for two and seven eggs. Electric from Masato Tanaka. 
Start Fox Bass. One, two, one the first two count. <coughs> the person that gave Eddie Grove the Fox Bass was awful. Good for the Fox Bass and nothing more. Nice. First good suplex to the outside from King of Strong Soil, Shinsuke Nakamura. Something very lively, but it's very good. Nice spinning brain box though, from Masato Tanaka. Nice elbow. Nice knee strokes to the head from Shinsuke Nakamura. Nice hard eyes whip, followed by the jumping cutter from Masato Tanaka. Nice front suplex, goes for the pin. Nice knee strike. Nice front suplex from Shinsuke Nakamura. Nice cross arm breaker. Nice no, rear naked choke followed by a not yet suited body scissors. <laughs> nice spear for Masato Tanaka. Nice half and half suplex. Love you, Doom Miranda 1935. Backbreaker. A nice ankle lock submission. Good for the pin. One, two, three, and your winner facing the great Muta, Masato Tanaka. Your winner with a match rating of 80% with the Roaring Elbow winner in 11 minutes and 43 seconds, the Dagon Masato Tanaka. <coughs> We're on to the last two matches, which is Jabez Kotaichi, Tomohiro Ishii, and Michael <coughs> The speak out movement thinks you can just accuse people without proof. But the Michael Elgin text scenario, the person he was acquitted of any wrongdoing, but oh no, it's not fucking good enough because a kangaroo caught on fucking social media just as fucking more is dickheads. We currently have six people live with us. I'm very pleased. <coughs> it's mainly a night two. Heading from Sandy Fort, Delaware, which I think is between New Jersey and Philadelphia. No, not Pennsylvania, I think, but don't quote me. One of the Briscoe brothers, Jay Briscoe. No relations to Jack or Jerry Briscoe. Heading from Tokyo, Japan, representing Suzuki Gun, the world size, the move beef, Tai Chi. I thought Tai Chi was like martial arts, I might be thinking of Tai Chi, which is a martial arts. <coughs> We've done them once, a good clean match. Nice snap match effect from Tai Chi, nice. European uppercut from Jay Briscoe. Nice elbow from Jay Briscoe. The ropes are very thin. They're electrical cables wrapped with like, electrical tape. That's all they are. They're very. There's no give really because I think I saw a match in Memphis where 
It was Randy Savage, Norris, high angle, back body drop from Toji, representing the Suzuki Gun. Norris, PK kick to the long bolt, the smaller portion of your back and spine. Nice lariat from Jay Briscoe. Wasn't even enough for a round count. So why do they speak out when people think they can ruin someone's life? But if it is true, then fine. But if you're just trying to do it to get some fucking money or clout, then you can fuck right off. I don't care if people don't don't agree with that assessment. You're guilty until proven innocent or innocent until proven guilty. There's no fucking <coughs> There's no way to shake a stick at it. Because it is what it is, and if people wanna make all these assess assessments on people which basically, if Michael Elvin didn't do anything, then I think he should sue him back and everyone say, okay, you didn't believe me, this shit happened years ago, and, it, and the court dismissed it, because the defendant spent all the money on his fucking heroin, so, no, sorry, she got fucking pulled up on it, and she was like, oh yeah, I did spend all the money on fucking dope. I don't care if people don't agree with that assessment. If people aren't following me, I don't give a fuck. Nice swinging that breaker from a Jeevers. Nice super kick from Jeevers. One, two, I'm enough for a two count on that exchange. Tries for his J driller, but I'm booked to quick his. Nice high angle single leg Boston crab from Taiji. Blind patch to the head of J Briscoe. Nice kick to the mid section. Yeah. Oh. <coughs> That's a bomb regressing. Speak up movement fucked everything up. Now the politicians are getting and fucking involved. Training is a sport, but shows a theatre. What the fuck? Get a fucking clue. Speak up movement's fine if the person is guilty as charged, but if they're not guilty and it comes out most of these people are innocent. People like you, Ryan Nemeth, yes, Dolph Ziggler's fucking brother, I'm calling you out, you piece of trash. Because, oh, you basically want to go for Joe Ryan, but if it turns out, oh, it was all storyline, you owe him an apology, and he'll fucking do you for slander, and I hope you're a jobber for fucking life. Oh, you, you never fucking amount to anything for an NHD, because you're a shit, Friday Pierce. I remember who you are, brother, so I think you're... I think you were shit then, and you're absolute fucking shit now. Brian Nemeth, you fucking dick. And Paddy Primero, a guy that's not wrestled in years. Oh, he has to pipe in. I hope Joey Ryan fucking shoots the fucking cunt ass for slander. If it turns out, oh, all of that was a storyline, you fucking cunts would sound stupid. Oh. Luckily, Joe Ryan dropped all those cases, but because he probably he lost his wrestling company because he can be a bit of a sleaze. He even admits that. But it's if it's more storyline. The G Driller, the Tiger Bomb. One, two, three, only enough for two and seven eggs. Nice super kick from Tai Chi. Nice high angle kick from Tai Chi using educated feet. Where were the times where people were proven innocent until proven guilty or guilty until innocent? Where have those days gone? Oh, they're long gone. Nice atomic kick drop from Chi Briscoe. Nice head bar from Chi Briscoe. Nice double foot stomp. J 
Jane and Mark, the Briscoes, are the longest serving people that in ring of honour. Apart from taking like a year off in 2003, that's the only time the Billy had. Oh, knife bound for an arrow. One, two, three, and draw for an arrow. Jay Briscoe. Rating of 77%, went on 11 minutes and 30 seconds for the Falcon Arrow. Jay Risco. We're on to the last match. been streaming for over an hour. To the last match. Good evening. Here's these clout seekers. <coughs> they do piss me off. Heading from Tokyo, Japan, representing chaos. Formerly representing chaos in my universe. The Stone Pitbull. Tomohiro Ishii. He actually does look like a football terrier. Because he's very stocky. <clears throat> and his opponent, Hayden Palm, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Big Mike, Michael Elgin. He lost his job with impact over this. But if it's proven that it's a case that was dismissed, then he should sue them and say, okay, this happened years ago, I admitted that I made a mistake. We're human at the end of the day. Nice snap mare suplex from Tomohiro Ishii. Nice delay the vertical suplex from Michael Elgin. Nice high angle body sound from Big Mike, Michael Elgin. He lost everything. And I hope you're speaking out with people. I hope you're right about this. If it is the thing that I know was dismissed about him a few years ago, then don't bring shit up from people. Because, oh, you talk about people, but the thing you're doing, I can find out who you are. Because if you gave it to people in confidence, yeah, I you would cover out what your name was if it was the case. But no, their names are all sent us. So don't worry if these people are proven wrong. I hope when the court of law says, oh, not guilty, then you have to owe these people a fucking lot of apologies. So you better, you better have your grovelling line. Ready. The thing with Michael Elgin happened a few years ago and the court sided in Michael Elgin's favour, not the person, not the two. That nice Boston crab from Michael Elgin. Applying pressure to the stone pit balls. Lower back. Nice Larry Oto from 
Come here, where is she? No, yes. Let me out of two. Come here, where is she? No, I couldn't jump too fast, but was a bit too close to the ropes. No, I said I want to try it. Come from my hero, we see. On to Big Mike. This game is made by Spike. No, it's Elbow Strike. From Big Mike. No, it's Front Flipping Center on. Go for the pin. One, two, only enough for two pin. People make mistakes, they're human, and he admitted he made a very costly mistake. Nice brain buster from Tomohiro Ishii. I was a little bit too close to the rope, and a bit too close to a gumbo. from Tomohiro Ishii. He's rather stocky. Nice Larry Oto into a nicely executed sleep hold. <coughs> the speak up movement pisses me off. So why go through people's Twitters on some of the transgressions? Yeah. Big people grow up and people change. Nice gorilla press slam. Nice power slam. And enough for two and seven eggs. Nice brain buster from Tommy Hiroshi. Lent it. Sent it one, two. Only enough for two and seven eggs. That's what I don't like about wrestling. It's he says she says most of the fucking time. Nice buckle bomb. Bomb. Big Mike. Michael Elgin. Nice elbows. Nice spinning power bomb. Sit down power bomb. Since most most levels become a father, so you know, if he was such a fucking fiend, he wouldn't be able to have a child. Now I sit down, burning hammer from Big Mike Michael Elgin. Go for the pin. One, two, only enough for two and seven eggs. Michael Elgin knocks a bit groggy. Nice gorilla press. Slam. One, two. I'm gonna put two and seven eggs. Nice power bomb from Tommy Rose. One, two. I'm gonna put two and seven eggs. Nice people screwdriver. One, two. I'm gonna put two count. Nice Larry Oto, nice Larry Oto from Tomohiro Ishii to flatten Big Mike. Nice power one, one, two, and enough for a two count on that again. Nice delayed vertical suplex. Nice spinning power bomb. One, two, three, and advancing to the quarterfinal. Big Mike, Michael Elgin.
win up with a match rating of 98%. Win it in 12 minutes and 52 seconds with the spinning, Elgin Bomb with the sit down, Power Bomb, Michael Elgin. We are done for the first round and we'll be back tomorrow with the quarterfinals. Thank you very much for watching. You've been a fantastic audience. I have been your host, Blue Boy 1985. I want you to do three things for me. One, look after yourself. Two, look after the relatives, elderly relatives, or any animals you may have. And three, please wear a face mask if you can. If you can't do to medical issues, health issues, or you're a that's fine, but if you're doing it to make fun out of people, that's not cool. Peace out, God bless, and happy gaming. I may be back later on, but that's not guaranteed. If I don't come back later on, I will be back again tomorrow with more streaming content goodness. Thank you, and goodbye for now.